Hello and welcome back to the lecture of Times Trigonometrics. In the past few lectures, we have been discussing uh, about the idea of forecasting and we are learning different tools. This lecture is a continuation of that and here we are going to use R to implement a holds forecasting method. So to do that, let's first get the data loaded. So you remember you have used this um, purchasing power index uh, data uh, previously and uh, this is how the data looks like if I just make a plot of it and I will also show you the data here so it's a quarterly data starting from 1960 and I'm using this column PPI and this data from 1960 quarter 1 to 2001 2002 quarter one so that's basically 169 data points I have uh, so basically we are going to use this data set and for the, for the first thing is we are going to use this TS command to tell uh, R that this is basically a time series data my data point starts from 1960 uh, quarter one and then uh, it ends at 2002 quarter one and it is a frequency 4 because it's a quarterly data. So that's let's just uh, define this data set as TS PPI. Uh, so I just tell that this time series, if I just plot it, it will give the same plot. Only thing is it will provide the timeline because I've defined the timeline here. All right. So now our job is to uh, implement the hold exponential smoothing method. So to do that, let us first uh, split the data set into a training and test data set. It is just because I want to see how accurate my forecast is looking like if I compare my forecast with the actual um, data. So I will take a chunk of the data as a training data and another chunk of data as test data. And using this training data, I will set the forecast and then I will match uh, with the actual data how well uh, my forecast is. So that's basically the job here and for training data I have sort of used this window function and this is basically this TSA PPI data which is here and I end this data in 1997 fourth quarter. So basically my training data is from 1961 quarter 1 to 1997 uh, quarter 4 and my test uh, starts from 1998 quarter 1 and it is basically up to the end of this data which means uh, 2002 quarter one so which means I will have 13 period um, test data okay all right so now I will do this uh, uh, hold exponential smoothing forecast and this R is really smart in terms of uh, developing this command so you, all you have to do is write hold as a uh, command for to do that and I will use 13 period forecast because I want to compare it with the 13 period my test data right so let's just do that so I have defined a train a PPI a test PPI then I do this uh, hold uh, oh could not find the hold function so actually I had to install the forecast uh, uh, forecast package here so let me see if it is already there somewhere forecast package or I have to actually um get this package uh, installed so let me do it uh, here maybe install package forecast and then I will have to do library forecast Let us just run this. Hopefully it will not take a lot of time. Yeah, okay. Install forecast. So we know that once you install it, you have to update it in the library. So that is precisely what we're going to do now. I have updated that in the library. So now there should not be any problem. Let us run it. It runs well. Okay, so now I will, okay, it has executed. So I have just plotted it. So now I can see uh, how it looks like. It looks a bit horizontal though. Um, it, uh, the train line, it looks horizontal. So let us change the 
time window a little bit uh, maybe I will write maybe let's say 96 and here I'll write say 97 let's see what happens here why it is continuing to give me yeah, now it is okay so there must be some some past data which it was capturing so okay so now you see that you have a forecast where you have a trend okay and that's the beauty of hold method so if the data is no longer just a horizontal line the the forecast is no longer a horizontal line but forecast is rather a trend and so we got it and that we have plotted now i want to match this forecast with my test data so for test data all i have to do after plot i have to write lines and it will plot the data and i write for lines this test ppi so if i do that i'll sort of get the original line here so let's see that so okay so that's the forecast whereas i have this uh, uh, i have this uh, black line in in uh, along the uh, my forecast line which is basically the test data okay so i got it here and now i have to sort of identify so you know like how well the model is and for that i need to actually do get a summary of this okay so i'll write print summary and then i will write i have defined as this uh, hold exponential smoothing as hold ppi and i'll get the summary of this data set and let's see uh, what i get so I got all the predicted, basically the forecasted value for different quarters. Okay, so I have this 90. So you basically fit the whole model uh, for different. So let us let us just uh, see how the how well the model is fitted. So okay, I start from here. So it's a hold uh, holds method, and we see that uh, you know the value we got value of alpha, value of beta. So we got it we got initial level uh, of this and we got beta so it has done multiple iteration we got a sigma and we got the different error measures okay so i got this uh, aic acf and rmsc and all these different error methods all right so similarly you can change maybe the you know the data point you can also specify the mm, you know you, you can change the alpha and beta and you can actually see uh, how the uh, whether the you you are actually reducing the error or and so on and so forth. Uh, 